Hello and welcome to the video I made while at the lakes. There it is, Lake Old Water. We're in the lake district. And we're doing the obvious there, Jamie. Anyway, yes, that's uh, cut and then it's done. And there's some water. I'm doing this because um, well, there's a car going back. I didn't take much audio when I did this. Um, it's pretty quiet all the way down. Well, there's not come out for us today, like, but... Again, stating the obvious. Thank you, Jamie. <laughs> He's a cheeky guest, isn't he? And there's Cody just commenting on the fact that I'm using a professional voice while making the video. Obviously, he hasn't seen this, but... So even though it was um, a bit of a, it was a bit of a dull day um, weather-wise. It was, was it was like this, the white cloud. Um, as you can see, it was getting onto autumn when I filmed this. It was actually seventh of October, two thousand and seven. I'm doing this innovation a day later because I found out there's an option in um, in Windows Movie Maker to do this. Now this is what they call the struggle. The way down the struggle, um, and it's quite clear why it's called that because it's a narrow road and it does this to car brakes. I don't know whether you can see that there, but I think I this bit went on a bit too long, I should have cut it a bit shorter. We can see the top there, his brakes were smoking. He was shitting himself because he thought the car was um, broken, but it turned out just to be. The fact that we hammered, well, he'd hammered the brakes on the way down there. And here we are now in Ambleside. That sounded oh, like an elephant, yeah. it wasn't. I don't know what I said there. I think it's probably the only thing I said on the whole tour. Um, there's some boats out. It didn't make me wonder how they got from boat to boat, but then it uh, became obvious that they probably used a dinghy of some description. Um, there's a bird. There were lots of birds on the lake, funnily enough. And there's this one having a bit of a... What do you call it? Green? And more birds. And this is the view around Ambleside. Those are two boats. The smaller with the ones that are, are wind me. We did actually go on one, which you'll see a bit later. And there's some marsh ones. One of them is having a bit of a drink there. And then another one having a bit of a nibble of himself. He must have a flavour. So there they are again, still being uh, very swan like. And there's a bit, um, the boat out on another one of its trips. Now we move on to Windermere itself. Um, just bits a bit dull, I should have cut this, but never mind. Again, more boats. There's lots of boats on the lake, funny enough. There's Daniel looking where to throw his ice cream, I think. And there's uh, there's Coty himself eating his ice cream. Now, as the day went on, the weather did get a bit greyer, and on the way home, it absolutely hoyed down. Which uh, I didn't mind because I was asleep half the journey with me being up for uh, approximately 24 hours by that point. That's how they get from boat to boat. He does a double take of me there. And, uh, he's obviously <laughs> obviously being filmed. Hello! And then back to the ducks. There were lots of ducks and doves and everything at this point. And even more swans. A couple of cygnets there and a goose. There were lots of Canada geese there. Now there's uh, 
that's one of the two boats. It may even very well be the one that we went out on. The trip around the lake. And here we are actually on the boat itself. Actually, t well, they actually had, a, I think it was about three boats, um, all doing three different trips. There was one, for some reason they were in colours, there was a blue trip, which was the one we went on, which uh, took you all around the islands on the lake. Um, there was a yellow trip and the red trip, which were longer, but they were more expensive. And considering we only had three hours car parking, uh, we decided to go on the shorter one, which took about 45 minutes. I'll put it down to three minutes because that's the only back I have. Life saving equipment, if you listen to this guy's voice, you will fall asleep. Yes, he is the most boring man in the world. He sounds a bit like Clive James. Requested. Emergency exit, yes, you jump over the side apparently. Well, you don't really, but. The largest of the lakes, it's ten and a half miles inland, widest part, mile wide, deepest point 220 feet. It's about 64 metres. 220 feet, the deepest part of um, the, the lake. For those who didn't hear that. And there's some people also on a boat. If you notice all the boys as well have at least one bed on them. There seems to be quite a fixture. You now clearly see it is autumn. Um, beginning of October. And that was, what you've just heard, the only time on the 45 minute trip, pretty much, that the bloke spoke. Which was just as well. The only other times he spoke, we, po we passed a little island, which looked totally insignificant, and he told right. us the name of the island, which I forgot. Aye, oh, yeah, I did. Um, <coughs> and he also told us that we're going to get off the boat shortly, so I'll sit down. He's on the boat. I was meant to mimic the opening sequence of the first episode of Abby Vida's own pet. Um, but it didn't really work. That's the island I was speaking about a few seconds ago. He told us the name of that island and I can't remember it. And that, on a forgetful note, is where the video ends unfortunately. Because also I forgot to uh, charge the camcorder properly, which means I managed to get about half an hour's worth of battery on it. Um, I've put this tape down to 8 minutes 50 or somewhere around that time, because you get shaky camera work like that all the way through. So, this is the end. I'll return with one of these next time to take a camcorder somewhere. Bye!